the most important th thing for me is to touch people through stories and through music and I love just sharing what God has done in my life and to do that through the music and then be recognized with that it was just unbelievable it's gospel slash country album of the year for my album Plum Cooley My Home which I named after my hometown actually amazing I never you know I started out as a violinist and I just recently kind of switched to country and bluegrass and to write my own songs and to tell my story through music and to sing and to then be awarded with such a prestigious award it was actually incredible and it just made all the work that I've done so worthwhile violin that's from 1714 named Sparkle and this violin was stolen in Santa Barbara. I was playing at the Museum of Contemporary Art and um, came out from the gig was going to another gig in South Dakota and violin is gone nowhere to be seen and this violin is like a piece of me it's just the bow itself is fourteen thousand dollars to give you an idea and um, I didn't know what to do. We started searching through dumpsters. We went to liquor stores. We went to gas stations. We searched the streets. We roamed the streets, didn't know what to do. I'm sitting in my car with my friends. Out of nowhere, a black SUV shows up next to us. Guy rolls down the window in the middle of the night. He goes, hey, are you the ones looking for a violin? I said, yeah. I said, do you have it? He says, no, I heard about it at the gas station. I'm crying beyond belief. And my friend says to him, he said, can, can we say a little prayer about this violin? The guy goes, absolutely. So here we are, 4 a.m., Santa Barbara, hotel parking lot, praying about the return of my violin. After that prayer, something amazing happened. The man said, I work in the prison ministry in Santa Barbara. I'm going to put the word on the street, on the radio, on the TV, and I'm going to personally put a $2,000 cash reward out for your violin. I get off the plane and I go to my gate and I look down at my phone and you won't believe what it said. I got a call from the hotel manager and she says, you won't believe what just happened, Rosemary. I said, what? She goes, a man in a black hoodie came in, disheveled looking, walked into the hotel, placed your violin down and said, I hear you've been looking for this and walked out the front door. Now, if that's not a miracle, I don't know what is. And that story has been such a testimony that I can share in concert halls, in churches, in bars, in pubs, anywhere and it's been my story of faith now that I can share with people around the world. She likes to go there.